Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to take you behind the scenes and show you how I shoot fashion photos in the studio. So, it's been a while, I know. Literally about two and a half years, but since we're all stuck at home, I thought now would be a good time to go through some old footage and see if I can put together some videos for you guys. Today I've got some behind the scenes footage from a shoot I did in December, and there was no real concept here. I just saw a model, Sonia, on Instagram. I got in touch with her, asked her if she wanted to shoot. She was down, so I got in touch with my team that I always work with, Troy and Renee, who do makeup and styling, and we just had some fun. Before we get into the video, please feel free to subscribe and if you want to see more, make sure you're following me and the team on Instagram. I've linked everyone's details down below. So let's get to it. So in terms of equipment, I'm using my usual setup, which is the Canon 5D Mark IV with a 24 to 70 millimeter lens. You'll find me using that lens 90% of the time. If I need to get close-ups, I usually switch to the 70 to 200 lens, which is kind of better for if you're doing like a close portrait or maybe some beauty shots or something like that. So in terms of lighting, I always use Profoto flash heads, usually a mixture of B1s and B2s. I just love the quality of the lights, the quality of the modifiers and they just give me the results that I always want. The good thing about the B1s is that they are battery powered so there's no wires which means that you can put them anywhere and move them around really easily which is always handy. So for lighting, I used my usual setup, which is a mixture of Protofo B1s and D2s. And I usually end up using three to four lights. Here I use four, but you could probably do it with three. So I use two lights on the background. These are B1s bounced into white polyboards, which just gives the background a nice even light. And I can either turn it up to make it white or turn it down and go for more of a gray background. And on the model, I used a D2 with a umbrella as my key light. And then I used another light down below as a fill. So you'll see on this next setup with the mirrored floor, the background lights have been turned down to make the background grey instead of white. And I've also switched out the umbrella on the key light for a grid, which is going to give me more of a direct, harsher light with more shadow fall off. We've still got the fill down below as well, just so that the shadows aren't completely black. And this has given us a nice dramatic light 
which sort of plays on the kind of silhouette vibe that I was going for with the suit and the power shoulders. So as I mentioned before, there was no set theme or concept for this shoot. We really just wanted to experiment, just play around with some different lighting setups, different posing and different outfits. As a photographer, this is when I work best when there's no pressure, when you can just really collaborate and just go back and forth with the model and really just let the creativity flow. So this last setup with the red fabric is absolutely one of my favorites. The shots from this setup is just stunning. Sonia gave it her all. It was at the end of the shoot. I'm sure she was tired because it was like 9 p.m. I just had this idea that I thought would look really cool of just wrapping fabric around someone and having it come to the edge of the frame. So I saw this fabric on the high street one day when I was out shopping. I bought it. It was eight pounds for like four meters and I got Troy, the makeup artist, to hold it on one side, Renee to hold it on the other side and the setup was actually really simple but the results I'm in love. So that's it. Thank you so much for watching the video. If you want to see more behind the scenes videos, make sure you subscribe so you can keep updated. And if you want to see more, make sure you're following me and the team on Instagram. Everyone's details are linked down below. And I will see you guys in the next one. Bye.